what is up guys check it out finally some sun some warm weather and it's time to get working on the new build again we do have everything with the exception of the seat cover we're gonna order that soon but we got all our most important parts and we can actually get this thing fired up I don't know if it'll be today but we're gonna work towards that but I want to show you guys the wire harness that I run it's from my buddy Jimmy Bortz I don't know if you guys can see the t-shirt wired out racing hooked me up with a t-shirt some stickers and this sweet harness so this is what we're gonna start off with today I'm gonna show you guys just how to install the harness it's pretty simple pretty straightforward we have our custom start button plug and play as you can see and he just he does just make these guys if you just want to get get rid of the blob and get yourself a custom start button along with a tether switch he does make those and then we have our tether switch same thing plug and play guys so this makes uh for servicing everything replacing everything super easy you can see i only want run one relay this is for the fan uh, he can set these up however you want guys i like to keep the fan running as normal uh, some guys like to run them hot i run my fuel pump hot so uh that's pretty much it you guys can see i run the vortex cage sideways so he's got my harness it's it's going to be like that but he's got my harness set up so it plugs in like that and not like this so that shortens it up a little bit but check this thing out guys he used a new protective coating and uh, this stuff is really really strong guys so this thing should not wear out at all definitely excited to uh get this thing installed and show you guys so uh let's get to it all right guys so if you're doing a new build like me then you won't have to worry about the old harness um there's nothing in here so putting in the new one will be pretty easy uh, but if you are working with a current bike, then you're gonna have to remove the old harness first uh, That's not too hard. The best thing to do is make sure you wash the quad down really really good Especially around all these connectors get all the dirt out of there because some some of these are hard especially the throttle body ones Wash it down really good. You're gonna have to obviously strip down the plastics um, You're gonna have to take off like the, You know the headlights and stuff just to access the wiring areas this little plate that's down here You're gonna have to remove that you're gonna have to remove the tail section to expose the ECU um, and then you can just start disconnecting everything and then once that's done you can pull it out so I kind of work my way basically from the back of the quad I pull the harness out you may have to remove the air box because the stock harness is obviously a lot thicker than this one um, so with this one I can probably sneak everything right through here um, but I may have to take this out but it's all loose you guys can see um, so I start basically I lay the harness right here kind of in the middle then I work the back half into that and then I work the front half into here so you can remove it the same way you're going to unplug everything at the front and then work it through down through the front of the frame out above the radiator and then you'll be able to pull all that out and then you can do the same with this side you're going to pull unplug all these work it out and then work it up above the subframe and then you can pull the harness right out it's not too hard just take your time um, a little flathead screwdriver helps with unlocking some of these tabs uh, air compressor with a spray hose just to get any dirt out maybe even a little WD-40 uh, and that's it so now we have a nice clean quad to work with so we're gonna get this new harness installed so basically uh, we know that this is the back end because that's where our ECU is um, so we're probably going to have to just to make things easy I'm gonna remove I'm gonna remove the air box and stuff. I gotta remove that back section, so I'll do that quick. So obviously you guys know, that's the ECU side. So this is gonna have to go inside of the air box like that. This should be able to move enough to slide it right in. Same with all these connectors. These all go down for the TPS and the idle control valve thingamajiggy you got your crank sensor wire oh, these are, that's the TPS alright so that is the ISC this is my that's that that is that alright so right about there 
that looks pretty good. We'll have to just check that with the ECU. Get all these out in the open. So what we're gonna do also, guys, is put all, in all our connectors, we're just gonna put a little bit of dielectric grease. It will um, keep the connections corrosion free, keep the dirt out. All right, so now the front part, we're just going to bring this through this front. You can do it one, do it one connector at a time. And I'll go through. This is definitely a lot easier with this harness versus the stock one because the stock one, like I said, is really, really thick. All right, so that's pretty good. So we will line everything up before we start actually fastening it. Some zip ties just to uh, hold everything together we got this little connector right here which we're going to use this one for all right so we got our dielectric grease where did i put it oh i got it right here so we'll just do this quick guys just put a little bit in there and all the connectors I think we'll just start. We can put the airbox and stuff back in place. Let's just see how this ECU lines up. I think we'll just start with that and then we can work everything else in. zip tie this onto the frame after so this is our battery connection and our our solenoid connection so that looks really good right there so I think we're good so we're just going to start I think we're just gonna start right up here we can start plugging things in and then we'll go back and uh, zip tie it and clean it up that's for the tank so that can stay back this one can go right there that's the air inlet temp sensor we got this thing for the uh, that sensor that's on the throttle body. We got the injector wire. This new coating feels really good, guys. Definitely really good. Why can't I? Oh, that one. And then we have our coil wires. So I like to take a couple zip ties and put it around this just to keep it in place. In his older harnesses, he just had the shrink wrap. Um, but with this new stuff, this is actually a lot tighter. So actually, I probably don't need any, but I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put, uh, I'm gonna put one anyway, just so I know it doesn't go anywhere. I'll put one. Just so it stays in place. the harness on this little mounting bracket right here just two zip ties around each end that'll hold that nice and tight in there and I've been running these harnesses for probably three years with no issues no problems 
eliminate a lot of stuff you don't need all like the headlight stuff I do have my own pre-wired switch I made for the headlight when I need it just straight off the battery but it eliminates a lot of wires that you don't need and also helps eliminate any kind of chafing because that stock harness is uh, it's huge twice the size of this right here um, so it's definitely nice I think I'm gonna put I'm gonna put a zip tie on this too just to hold this down just under that That's nice. Alright, so we can work this. This is gonna stay like that. And then we have um see if you guys can see over here, we'll get you towards the front a little bit. So basically we're gonna work all these plugs. Oh uh, we have to uh, put some grease in these. We'll do that first. So we have this factory zip tie once we get these wires inside this frame and up and we can get that fastened so we do need these two for the radiator temp sensor and the fan and then all this can go through like that So he's got a nice reinforced area you guys can see right there for the zip tie which did I never have problems with this chafing anyway but it's definitely a nice touch we'll leave that loose for now but we will start plugging in what we can on the front here the cables in my way all right so we will start with our relay we can put this in the, the holder I can get that out So we'll actually plug in the rectifier first. Plug that in first. Actually, we'll put the relay on first because that goes. Do I need another? I have it. Alright, so that's our fan relay. Now we got our rectifier. Hmm. So we want to make sure there's not two of those in there. That was stuck in from the old harness. Plug this guy in. Just make sure everything locks in guys and it's not going to pop out. Alright, so the rest of this is for our controls, which we will do later because obviously we don't have that in yet. Um, but this is pretty self-explanatory. You have one for the start button, which is this guy. Uh, I believe this is uh, this could be the tether tether switch this is for your dash lights and this one I'm not even sure what that one's for um, I think those all there yeah those are there so the dash oh we got starter key, no key and then one of these is the start button and the other is the tether that's how those go all right, so we'll get these guys plugged in over here. I don't think I have the right connector. I do not. So I'm going to have to change that. I'm going to change that. I don't know if I have the right sensor. So that's just going to go there. And then we got our fan wire right here. We will zip tie these up afterwards, clean them up. So we'll tighten this guy up because that's good. After we'll just zip tie these like that. So we'll do the front after. All right, so these are pretty easy. We have the TPS, the idle speed control valves, plug. We'll get all these plugged in. Thank you. 
this. We have our neutral wire. A lot of guys get rid of that. I like to keep it. I like to keep the dash lights. Actually, there's a lot of people that will get rid of all the dash lights, but I like the dash lights. Nice to know what's going on, fuel level and temperature, just in case. Not like I would stop during the race anyway, but at least I know it's hot. All right, so then we got the stator and crank sensor wires. up after it zip ties. I still gotta route my starter cable through here so I won't fasten anything just yet. So you guys can see just down like this. We will work on the ECU next in the uh, Starlake Fabrications cage. This is a great way to protect your vortex guys. It keeps it nice and snug. So this just folds up into the stock location. get a couple zip ties after tie everything together so that's pretty much it guys after this will plug into our solenoid we get that all cleaned up ready to go we can put that in we'll lower this down and put that in this just slides in like this this is the rubber two little tabs that rubber slides in like that we got one thing that will go to the battery and then um, that, I'll show you that plug that goes uh, plugs into it so then you got this guy that just comes in here Beautiful. We'll hook up the starter button, starter wire after. All right, guys. So we will have to plug in just the controls after I do the bars and all that stuff. But that's pretty self-explanatory. Like I had said, uh, you got your key switch. Uh, this is the dash lights, and then these are both for the start and the tether. Um, so we do have to just change out this connector to the old style. This is a 2009 to 2013 temp sensor. Either that or I can get a new one, but uh, then I'll have to wait. I want to fire this thing up, so I may just change that. I do have the other connector. But you can see we got everything in the starter wire. Got everything zip tied and cleaned up. Nice, nice. We can put this on. We'll put this on after. But everything's nice and clean up here, you can see. And then the back with the ECU, all nice, nice. Everything is connected. Up top. So once again, Huge thanks to Jimmy Bortz at Wide Out Racing. Harness came out great as usual. Can't wait to fire this thing up, show you guys. Uh, but that's a wrap for today, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. You guys know the deal. If you're not yet, please subscribe. Like this video and if you got any questions, drop a comment, guys. And as always, thanks for watching. Peace.